Today, the biggest challenge for our environment is pollution. And we all know that one of the major contributions to pollution comes from the auto industry, vehicles. The pollution from vehicle emissions adds to severe problems like smog or fog, causing several health problems. The government is taking a lot of initiatives and one such initiative is bringing newer emission norms known as BS norms. These norms enforce low emission of particulate matter and harmful gases like nitrogen oxides which are released from vehicles. Bharat Stage 4 are the norms that were implemented in April 2017. BS4 norms are directed towards reducing the level of particulate matter up to 80% and harmful gases like nitrogen oxides up to 30% as compared to earlier BS3 norms. To meet these stringent norms, OEMs or the vehicle manufacturers have adopted two technologies in India, SCR and EGR. SCR is a new after-treatment device which converts harmful nitrogen oxides to nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water vapour. Let's understand how SCR technology works. Selective catalytic reduction or SCR is a technology designed to reduce NOx emissions from vehicles. The process begins with hot exhaust gases and a urea solution entering a catalytic converter. When the solution comes into contact with the catalyst, the ammonia created from urea reacts with NOx to form nitrogen, water and tiny amounts of CO2 natural compounds common to the air we breathe every day. These are expelled through the vehicle tailpipe. As we saw, SCR is an after-treatment device and a very effective technology to treat nitrogen oxides. The technology uses a new fluid called OS32 or aqueous urea solution. It is important to know that OS32 or the aqueous urea solution is also known as AdBlue or DEF or diesel exhaust fluid. It is the same fluid known by different names. OS32 is a mixture of 32.5% highly purified technical or automotive grade urea and 67.5% of deionized or demineralized water. The purity of OS32 is very crucial for the performance of SCR and the SCR is so sensitive to impurities in OS32 that it cannot tolerate even minute contamination. Thus, the purity of the solution is very critical not only for the efficient conversion of nitrogen oxides but also for the durability of the SCR system and vehicle operation. The specification of OS32 is defined by ISO as ISO 22241. To meet this specification, we not only need a highly purified urea and virtually mineral and contamination-free water, but also an ultra-clean manufacturing unit, stringent quality, continuous monitoring during production, packing and even storage. Just to emphasize how sensitive SCR is towards OS32 quality, let's look at this. 1. SCR cannot tolerate even the RO purified water that we drink. Another simple example is that a teaspoon of salt is good enough to spoil 20,000 liters of OS32. The SCR catalyst looks like this. When it is subjected to an inferior quality OS32, all the contaminants tend to deposit on the face of the catalyst. This reduces the efficiency of the catalyst to convert the harmful nitrogen oxides to nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water vapour. 
This leads to the build-up of contaminants and impurities as deposits on the catalyst, thus blocking the exhaust gas to pass through, which means the generation of back pressure, excessive fuel consumption and eventually failure of the engine and after-treatment device. Please note, SCR is a very expensive device and cannot be repaired. It will have to be replaced only, which means the huge cost for the end consumer. To avoid such issues with your vehicle, you can trust Velvolin with the right quality product. Velvolin, being partner of Cummins, understand the engines and their after treatment systems and are committed to offering the right quality of OS32 for consistent and efficient performance and not compromising the durability of your engine and SCR. Certified by American Petroleum Institute. Use Airshield Cummins Genuine DEF.